Raffaele for Arsenal with a header. That made it 2-1 but Arsenal couldn't get another, and that is how it finished. A massive three points for Manchester City. Here's how it played out with your match facts. Arsenal had their fewest shots in a WSL game this season. Manchester City had 17 shots, although only six on target, and they shaded the possession too. Well, we can hear now from the player of the match, Chloe Kelly. She's talking to Lindsay. Chloe, congratulations on the win. Hard fought in the end, but in the first half, could you believe how much joy you were having against Arsenal's back line? Yeah, it was a brilliant, brilliant day. And we knew when we play at home, then no one can play against us. It was a brilliant performance, and I think we really set the tone of our press today. And when we win the ball back, we know the class that we have, and yeah, we showed that today. Great finish and some lovely link-up between yourself and Lauren Hemp. I wanted to mention her because that was a 50th WSL goal and it would have meant a lot, I'm sure. Yeah, what a girl, what a player. She's unbelievable for us. And yeah, I think when you have that link-up with such a special player, it's brilliant. She's a great player, great person, and I'm, I'm incredibly pleased to share the pitch with her. We've spoken since the Euro, since she scored the winner at Wembley in that final. And you were saying that you struggled a little bit to get that form back and you put a bit too much pressure on yourself. But you are absolutely flying at the moment. So what has happened? How have you managed to, to sort that out? Yeah, I think Gaz just gives me confidence at the moment. He's letting me play free and I'm just enjoying myself on the pitch. And when I'm enjoying myself, I think that's when I'm at my best and just having fun, really. It's just like I'm a little girl again playing football. And yeah, I'm just having fun. and. Playing with such a great bunch of girls is brilliant. We showed a great fight today and it's about the team. Three points and we move forward. We saw the very lengthy huddle at the end. What was being said? Oh, uh, Kit Woman's not going to be with us anymore. So that one was for Lisa. Oh, Lisa, congratulations to her. Thank you so much for your time. You are Barclays Player of the Match. Thank you. Thank you very much. Well done. Oh, great to hear Chloe Kelly enjoying her football. So she's like a little girl enjoying her football again. But two goals, four assists in her last four appearances. Karen, that is a person in form right there. I used to play on the wing, but I was no, nowhere near as good enough as she <laughs> You're doing was. You're doing yourself to brilliant. No, brilliant. Look, Don't no, 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 I didn't mean that. Like, but I meant, like, she, both Lauren Hemp and Chloe Kelly have been brilliant. And I said at the start, I said at half-time, they were the key to winning mm. the game, pinning Arsenal back and just clinical. And I think Chloe Kelly, your ability to nick a yard and get a cross in is brilliant. OK, well, we can hear from the Manchester City boss now. Gareth Taylor is joining us live into the studio. Gareth, thanks for coming across to join us so soon. Uh, have you had... Hello, we're over here. Uh, have you had a chance to speak to your players yet? Because I bet that that dressing room is buzzing. We saw you in a huddle at the end. Can you give us a little bit of an insight into what was said? Just, yeah, to follow on, I just caught the end of what Chloe said with uh, Lisa, obviously. Our kit lady leaving us was obviously a bit of an emotional time that no one knew about, especially the players. But, um, no, it was, it was more about how proud I am of that performance and how gutsy it was in the second half. I thought we should have been out of sight at half-time. I think we could have been five or six up with the chances we created and the pressure that we forced Arsenal into, making errors. Um, yeah, just super proud of the girls, and they really deserve that today. Gareth, congratulations. It's Karen here, by the way. Um, Hi, it must be really difficult playing a team back to back. And Arsenal on Wednesday played with the back three, and it looked like at times you might have struggled with that. Today it was the polar opposite. What were the tactical differences that you applied to make sure that you dominated when they changed formation? Only uh, really subtle ones. I think nothing really changes for us in how we press, apart from what we ask for Bunny against a front three. Uh, sorry, a back three over uh, a back four. But I think um, we mixed our game up a bit today. I think we struggled a little bit with our initial build-up at the back. Um, and we did quite find the spaces enough. I thought Hazegawa was outstanding again. One of the best players I've ever worked with. She's so good. And uh, like I say, I just felt that we mixed our game up a bit. And even just long straight balls up to Bunny Shaw, we just seemed to be at their, their back four all of the time. And... Um, like I say, I, I really felt we could have been five or six up at half-time. Hi, Gareth. Kelly here. Was there a plan to, to be more direct with, with Hemp and Kelly? Because every time they got the ball, they were taking Williamson and, and, and Sousa on and getting so much joy. <clears throat> was, that, was, was that part of the talk, part of the plan? When you've got those type of players at the top end of the pitch, I think Bunny's more than goals, so her all-round game is great. She creates a lot of uh, spaces for the rest of the players. And, and Lauren... Chloe, you know, even if Haley coming on as well, they've, they're such fast players. And Arsenal being brave and jumping out and making it more difficult for our build-up play 
means they leave themselves slightly vulnerable at the back. So for sure, like I say, we mixed it up a little bit today. And every time we, we seem to play a long ball, we got around the second ball and we were at the defence. Gareth, I'm just wondering now in the context of the season, how big you feel this win is. You're actually only two points off the top now. Are you looking over your shoulders or are you looking above yourselves? Oh, no, I've always said that, you know, we want to be here. It's so difficult, this WSL league with only 22 games. You have to be pretty faultless. Uh, a draw can feel like a defeat. A defeat can feel like a, like a death in the family almost. It's so tight and there's so much scrutiny. And I think, you know, the girls in the run we went on for 16 games, 17 games, if you count normal time the other night, we were so disappointed to... We were so disappointed to not go on and win the Conti Cup again. We really put everything into that. And, but I think we made a really good defence of it. We gave everything. And there was some really proud bits of the game the other night that we knew that we could capitalise on today. But today was all about energy. And if you look, we only made one change, one sub. Um, while the players were flagging at the end, they really showed ev every kind of resource there to, to get the game won. Absolutely. Well, a big congratulations, a big win for you today. And you. enjoy your evening after that. Well done. Thank you very much. Cheers. <laughs> Certainly earned a cup of tea or maybe something more, Karen. But let's look back at their goals. And I'm sure he'll enjoy watching these if he scuttles inside and, and has a look. Because the 1-0 goal, the opener within four minutes, was something that we'd highlighted before the game, wasn't it? Yeah, they just pinned Arsenal back straight away. And Kelly puts in this ball and winger to winger. Lauren Hemp highlighted at the top of the left-hand screen. Goes in, completely switches off. There's confusion between the goalkeeper should she come? Zinsberger, Wuben Moy, could she have done better? Regardless, Lee Williamson switches off and Maritz as well around the back. It was just far too easy and it was just run after run after run, momentum-wise, for, for City in the first 20 minutes and Arsenal were, were nowhere near good enough. Yeah, Kelly, you were exasperated by some of the defending from Arsenal, weren't you? No, they're making makers of their own undoing for, for the second as well. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, too many for unforced errors, bad mistakes here. Wuben Moy just takes the ball down, does, is not even aware where Bonnie Shaw is and the strength and pace to, to get, get her herself away. And it's, you know, it was way too easy for the first half, the for, first 45 minutes. It was like I had my hands over my eyes at times, just cringing at the defending and the unforced errors. Um, so and they were lucky not to go in more than two goals. That, uh, I think goal. on that clip there is what Gareth Taylor was alluding to. Long ball, losing possession, pick up the second, bang and break free. Um, again, capitalising off, off Arsenal's mistakes, but was a long ball that wasn't dealt with. Yeah, and some composure as well from Bunny Shaw after she'd missed a couple of chances. But Arsenal did get back in it, Kelly, in the second half. At this moment, when this goal goes in, are you thinking, OK, <laughs> this is the moment, this is where the game turns? Yeah, they, they made the change at half-time to go to a back four um, and make it more dominant in, in the midfield. And we felt like playing longer helped them, you know, bypassing the midfield at times. And Sousa there with the header. Um, Bunny Shaw played them all on side. It's not the strongest of headers, but it's just the, the redirection of it. And you're thinking now, right, come on then, Arsenal. You're in the game, you know, just at 60 minutes. What have you got now? Um, but I just think that the longer the game went on, we just felt that they really weren't pushing for, for a goal. There wasn't that belief within the, within the, the team. You know, they'd finished the, with front three with a very youthful 19-year-old and two 23-year-olds. And you're looking for experience, you're looking for leadership. Where was that today? Well.